who man? He? He man. Hello, hello, welcome back to the show. He Man and the Masters of the Universe has always been one of my favorite cartoons growing up. I remember watching it religiously on TV, and mind you, uh, this was back when TV3 and TV2 were the only source for cartoons. Uh, back then, no Netflix, no Hulu, no nothing, and I believe it was on TV3. Uh, don't sue me if I'm wrong, but I think it was on TV3. So I was such an avid fan that I begged my parents to buy me anything related to He-Man. From toys to books, even bed sheets. Uh. I remember I had He-Man bed sheets. I was really really into He-Man. Uh. So my new toys weren't as expensive as they are now. I think one He-Man figure back then ran about 15 to 20 ringgit. And the storybooks were about 5 ringgit a pop. Uh, but I didn't get everything, but I was blessed that my parents even bought me toys to begin with. So today's episode is a bit special, for me at least, because I am going to share with you some of my childhood toys and books from He-Man which I managed to keep until today. So let's go! So the first thing I want to share with you is the Masters of the Universe storybooks. So I th I think I actually have more, but these are the three that actually stood the test of time. This one, Takoya, everything's all kind of intact. So I have three books here, Power from the Sky, Sword on Skeletor, and The Thief of Castle Greyskull. I remember reading this with my dad growing up. This is actually how he taught me how to read. Uh, in English uh, Yeah, my household My first language is English So he used this To actually teach me how to read And I think that's pretty awesome uh, Instead of going the traditional route Of picking up uh, Traditional books uh, English books and all that He opted to pick up Masters of the Universe Which he knows I like So yeah, he, he bought me Uh Masters of the Universe storybooks for me to read and practice my English and my reading. So, this is Salt or Skeletor. See, see, how much was it? See, it was six ringgit 65 cents, I think, for this one. This one is 5.95, and this one, that the price. Uh, but yeah, see. Yeah, bought it in Super Comta. So this was in Penang. So let's go to Salt of Skeletor, of course. Uh, look at the artwork, man. That's that is really pretty. If if you did know better, uh, you think that uh, He Man and Masters of the Universe line is actually book for books for adults. Because I mean, just look at the cover. It it really just reminds you of. Those uh, what was it? Heavy metal, uh, heavy metal comic books from uh, UK, um, and 2080. Uh, but yeah, it's a children's book. So it's got an artwork, man. So you have Battle Cat, you have Tila, Man at Arms. It, it it okay. Yeah, the content is indeed a child's book. You can see it's very simple, but. It's uh, quite colourful, interesting, it made me uh, practice my English, which is awesome. Yeah, Merman. So I think this book is where uh, Skeletor stole He-Man's sword to open. Yeah, there you go, Castle Grayskull. Uh, He-Man's sword of power. That's Zodiac right there. Hey, sorry, Zodiac. Zodiac. He. Sorry. And then that. So... I think I'm missing this one, Caverns of Fear and the Trap. So I have right here is the Thief of Castle Grayskull and Power from the Sky. Yeah, so these two are from the same. So let's open the Thief of Castle Grayskull. Oh, 595. Hmm. 
So, uh, illustrated by Fred Carrillo. Yeah, he so he does most of the artwork, and this is look at that. This is back in '83. Oof. '83. Oh, this is where ah uh, Skeletor stole Castle Grayskull. That's pretty weird. Stratos right there. Saves He Man. So funny that everyone was just walking around in their furry underwear. You know what? Maybe I should get a He Man tattoo. Like pick something up from like one of the books here and have it tattooed on my back. And then the last one is Power from the Skies. You see that there's other books here. And these are all the cartoons. You can see here, these are all the cartoons that I grew up with. So Master Universe, Princess of Power. So that's Shira. So that's uh, Prince Adam's sister. Uh, World Warriors, GoBots, the Transformers ripoff. Conan the Barbarian, Defenders of the Earth. Oh, that is amazing. The soundtrack for the cartoon, amazing. And then Inhumanoids. Fall from the sky. 590. I think Fred Carrillo again. So I, I think he was commissioned to do all the books from this series. Tila, Men at Arms, Orko. Oz. See, this is the only book that I see with Prince Adam. Every other book is He Man, him already being. He's already transforming to He-Man. So, to most of you who don't know who He-Man is, He-Man is actually the alter ego for Prince Adam. Uh, so, he's not like Superman. Superman is his real form where uh, Cal, eh, sorry, Cal, Elba, Clark Kent is his alter ego. Superman is his real form. Whereas this one, Prince Adam is his real form and Clark Kent, uh, Clark Kent, uh, He-Man is the alter ego. So, because Prince Adam turns into... Uh, he man, not not the other way around. Then he, he loses his sword. It, I think it's a web or yeah. The day you oh yeah sorry web store <laughs> web store. Uh yeah they were pretty lazy with the namings. Uh web store la. Uh they just kind of add or at the back you know just add like a. Scorpio or I, I okay there's no Scorpio I'm just making it up but yeah that's how they used to name shit yeah, and you know those are the baddies when they have OR at the back Skeletor Web Store that's that's funny oh eh? this is a Fisto that's okay that that name does not fly to in today's uh, day and age but yes his name is Fisto then here he transforms into He-Man he cries out his famous bell cry about the power of Grace Call, and you know he changes to He Man. And he Man saves the day. Oh, that's Ram Man. That's Stratos. That's I. That's I think that's Man Man E Faces. Get it? Many Faces. Yes, the namings back then were so bad, but it was so 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 good. So he he's supposed to be. Uh, Triclops' um, counterpart, I mean the the good to his bad, and then you have here you know, this is Lockjaw, uh, Web Store, and yeah, so so these are the three books that are still with me, and thank God they're actually in pretty good condition. Pretty nice, pretty nice. You should get this frame. Work of art. So I'm done with the books. I am going to show you some of the toys that I still have. And these are the OG 83 toys. Uh. Uh, I don't have the boxes. Those are, I don't know where, uh, but the figures are still with me. And these are the ones that I still manage. I have managed to salvage. So let's go.
the first figure I'm gonna show you is actually He-Man. Uh, but this is not the original He-Man that came out in uh, 1983. So this is the uh, a different version of it. It's Battle something something He-Man. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, the weapons here are clearly missing. Uh, so He-Man had a shield and a weapon of some sort. I can't remember what it was. I remember how it looked like. Lo. It, had, it was like a three pointy things with balls on the end. So, you know, when you swing it this way uh the thing kind of rotated as well as the shield like that uh, so that's pretty cool uh as you can see there's wear and tear from play but it's still in pretty good condition and i'm surprised that the mechanics are still working in his body see i know i knew how to take care of toys <laughs> <laughs> the second one that I'm going to introduce is Skeletor. So he is also not the original Skeletor that came out in 83. Uh, so this was uh, this, uh, what's it called? Claw Attack. Uh. So this is supposed to be a pasang lah, a set. Uh, it's sold separately, but it is supposed to, you know, lawan each other lah. So the mechanics are the same. So, you know, see, kind of does that as well. Same, same. Uh, but instead of, of a shield and a thing and a thing, uh, Skeletor had claws. So it had like some chaka chaka action going on. So it's like that. So then He Man goes like that. So you see, both of them are like just kind of dancing. Like, hoo ha hoo ha hoo ha. So you put them side by side and then they kind of just like gaduh macam ni. It's pretty cool. Uh, I was unfortunate that I couldn't see the original He-Man and Skeletor. I actually had those two. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm happy that I still have the original. Well, not the original. I still have a He-Man and a Skeletor from the 80s line. You know, that, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, the next figure I'm going to show you is Roboto. Tini. So Roboto is well clearly a robot so if you've seen uh rick and morty um gearhead wait gear person gearhead i can't remember so he is actually a uh what's the word i'm looking for an, an homage uh -huh, there you go an homage to roboto so if you can see his innards are all gears so what happens is if you turn well rosak lah lah uh, but if you turn the body, the gears would turn with it. But yeah, clearly tarosa. So yeah, so that's the uh, gimmick for the toy. Oh, that's pretty tight. And this one can actually come off, and then you can actually exchange it with another weapon. But I don't know where it is. The only one that's left is this blaster, and yeah. Yeah, okay, so I okay, this kind of looks like Donald Duck, isn't it? Quack, 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 quack. I think this kind of flaps as it rotates. I don't remember. Again, it's not working anymore, but yeah, so this is Roboto. So if you're wondering why Roboto, Domo Arigato, Mr. Roboto, get it? <laughs> okay, moving on to the last figure is Jitsu. So Jitsu actually comes with uh an armor plate but again i don't know where it is hilang di telan zaman so he's well not butt naked lah but almost naked aside from his bulu bulu underwear so his gimmick is this see yeah he's got a golden uh well it's not a golden fist it's a golden chopping hand so that's, it's actually spring loaded so what happens is you pull this and then hiya hiya that's so cool so he is uh fisto's counterpart if you remember there was a panel in the, in the book just now so fisto remember fisto so yeah so he, this is his counterpart so this guy's name is jitsu Ju Jitsu, i guess i don't know again like i said naming characters weren't a big thing back then so uh yeah so as you can see the plastic here is 
coming off man the coloration on this is so bad see the two tones of the body color line the arms color line and this is i would say not appropriate <laughs> at at uh, in today's day and age they really really exaggerate the eyes again you know it was the 80s everyone was racist <laughs> some sort or stereotypically racist so uh glad to see that the uh, masters of the universe classic line uh, redid the design and made it more um, accurate i also had fit uh, fisto but again uh, that didn't survive the test of time so the only ones that i have are this four so yeah Ta-da. i'm very very happy that i still have this because this like i said is my childhood and this just brings so much memories of me playing with it playing the bejesus out of it well that's our show for today i hope you all enjoyed the video um, as i mentioned earlier this video is indeed special to me because i'm sharing part of my childhood with um, everyone here um, i know it's not much but these are the things that actually survive the uh, test of time that i still managed to maintain and keep um, in relatively good condition i must say i mean it's not the best condition but it's also not the worst uh so yeah he man man will always it will always have a special place in my heart because he man is is something that i grew up with it is something that i love still love until today and um you know i'm just happy that i still managed to have kept uh some of the stuff from my childhood and and, and still around to till today and hopefully you know if i have children or can pass it on down to my nephews and hopefully they then will appreciate uh, He-Man as much as I did. As always, please, please, please stay safe. Uh, do all those nice things. Social distance. Wash your hands. Wear a mask. Don't go out if you don't have to. You know, stay at home. Watch my videos as I keep saying. You know, just stay home. Watch my videos. Like my videos. Thumbs up. All that nice things. So please, 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 please stay safe. And I will see you all in the next one.